Okay, so um, stimulating the pin on 0.5, mid, mid range. Stimulating the supinator nerve. Stimulating the other supinator nerve. We see a lot of trauma patients because our unit specifically looks after post-traumatic spinal cord injury. Um, uh, they're, they're most commonly in Australia caused by some sort of road accident. So uh, motor vehicles, um, uh, motorbikes, bicycles, or even just uh, being a pedestrian. The other big group is sporting injuries, and that's usually uh, diving into a shallow um, uh, into shallow water and knocking your head on the bottom of something, um, onto a submerged object or a sandbank, um, or otherwise falls. The surgery is when you take the nerve to a muscle which is working normally, but that muscle is expendable because you have other muscles that are doing the same function as that muscle. And you cut that nerve and then you move it towards a nerve which is um, attached to a paralyzed muscle and used to supply that muscle, but that nerve is now paralyzed. And then we cut the nerve to the paralyzed muscle and we join the, um, the first nerve, which is working and connected to the brain, to the paralyzed nerve. And we join them together under the microscope uh, using very fine sutures. And then what happens is the nerve fibers from uh, the working nerve will actually just grow down uh, that paralyzed nerve and sort of use it as a scaffold uh, to travel down, hit the muscle. And once it hits the muscle, um, it will reactivate the muscle and the muscle will be able to be used again. Can you tell me about uh, how your hands are different? Um, well, my left hand I use a lot more for picking up things and the finer sort of movements and then like I'll pick something up with my left that, that I wouldn't be able to do with my right. Then once I can get it in my right hand, I have a lot of strength in it and I can hold on to things and yeah. 